Okay, just a short video on how to drain your water heater, which you should be doing once a month, just to clear the calcium and crap out of the bottom, because it'll build up quite a bit and uh, monkey up things. Uh, so, this is another hindsight video when I watch what I've uh, done. Just a quick review. So, what you will be watching is you hook a hose to this little guy down here. You're going to take that hose outside. You're going to open this little valve up. best way to do it is just go ahead and open it up leave everything going up top here and uh, flush that thing out until the water's running clear a minute or two should do it if you do that once a month it'll stay that way as you will see in my case opening that little valve did nothing to start with so what I ended up doing turn the water off to your water heater whether you should have it if you have a, a hose dedicated a line a water line dedicated to your water heater turn that off or you may just have to turn the water off uh, all together, whatever it takes to keep the water from going in here. Um, you can try to drain them by popping the relief valve, but if it's not blowing out the bottom with the full pressure, I would not mess with that. Go over to the uh, sink, turn the hot water on so you get some relief in there, because what you're going to do is go outside the other end of that hose and you'll see as I show you there in my case I just took a squirty nozzle and crammed it in the the end of the hose and blew the water back into the water heater so it has to have somewhere to go so if you have the uh, hose open at your kitchen on hot it'll blow the water back out of the top of this um, as if it was pushing through it and it'll squirt it out the uh, kitchen hose kitchen hose right the kitchen faucet uh, just want a quick review on that so you know the water stays off while you do that. And then once you squirt it back up in there, you turn the water off and see what comes out of that hose. In my case, it started trickling out pretty good. And then you come back in here and turn the water back on. And you will get, uh, if it's clear, it'll blow the uh, all that calcium crap right out of it. If it doesn't do it at first, give it a couple of tries. But every time you're blowing it back into the water heater, make sure you turn your water off. Make sure that uh, the faucets turned on hot in the kitchen whatever uh, once it starts going you want to once you turn the water back on you want to turn the kitchen faucet back off so all the water pressure is going into the water heater and blowing out the bottom so with that uh, here comes the video uh, a couple of segments and uh, hopefully that'll uh, give you a little maintenance going on these water heaters so I'm gonna try just turn it off turn it back on Mm, not good. Bummer. I don't think that's something I want to try to break loose. What am I going to do? Hmm. <laughs> I have the water on in this water heater so it should be blowing it on out of there. I'm going to have to look into this one. Okay. Stand by. Okay, it's a work in progress. This is what I did. I got a regular hose out here. I got the end of this. really wanted to get fancy, you put a female end on this, screw it onto that hose, push water back up into it. I'm starting to get calcium. This is what I did. I have the hot water on in the sink, so that it has a relief. And I'm turning on the water, spraying it back into the water heater. So this should blow the water back up through that drain push the calcium deposits out of the way. Oops. Oops. Eh. I'm to do it one handed. Now I'm getting hot water. You can see it because it's drippy. Pardon me. 
but it's getting better. I'm going to continue to do that. The water is on full blast, so this should be blowing out of here at full pressure. It's getting better every time I do it, though. Now I have hot water leaking out the bottom. So I'll come back when I have the whole thing blown out. Looks like that's going to work. I want to flush this thing really good. Hopefully it won't get full anymore with the uh, iron softener, iron filter and the water softener in there. So we'll come back when I get to the end and see how it's doing. Okay, got the water running into the water heater. Closed off the one in the sink. Actually, I didn't have the water on going into the water heater. That trickle was uh, just coming out of the gravity. But my water's pretty clear now. See, it was nice and milky. Whatever was in there is now being flushed out. Just out of curiosity, let's have a look. Mind you, this is going through the filter and the water softener, so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'm about good. I'm going to turn that sucker off. I think it'll be done. Do that once a month. The water here stay nice and clean. Nice and clear. Last a long time. <laughs> 